Welcome, Rocket. This is your super secret invitation to a really private special event. Come at noon to the location below and don't be late. Also, don't tell anyone. Private means private. And do get ready for a big surprise. Signed us. P.S. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this! Thank you. 
if you hear my friends saying stuff about me, my name's Dana Sinclair, by the way, don't listen. They've just been acting really obnoxious since that girl Rocket came to this school, and I'm not the one who started it either.
Mm, well, it sounds good, but if it's what I think, this could get complicated. Yes! Oh yes, I knew it! This is a really good day! <laughs> hmm, let's see. Wish we were celebrating together. Hope December 17th is a great birthday for you. Ha ha ha. And for me too. Love, Meg. Boy, Maggie, I wish you were here for this. I just got invited to something really secret, and I think I know what it's about. I'm pretty sure it has to do with our little joint birthday thing, too. Hey, best faraway friend. Sounds good. Except don't you think you should tell them this isn't really your birthday, and why you pretend it is? Wow! Hi, Meg, and happy birthday to you. But shh, I don't think I can tell. It's too complicated. Anyway, it doesn't matter that much. Okay, but watch out. Things could get kind of messed up if you don't explain it right in the beginning. Don't worry, best friend. It's gonna be really cool, I promise. Hey, gotta go. Okay, but just be careful, Rock. No problem. Hail Zoran Princess. Uh... <laughs> I come from other galaxies to celebrate the day you came into existence in human form. Arnold? <laughs> Okay, that's it. Arnold is not going to spread any more birthday rumors. Why does he always have to show up just when I'm heading for a total bummer? Okay, so it's just me and Arnie now. Might as well let him see my sweet side. Arnie! Know what? Even though sometimes you really get on my nerves, believe it or not, I'm kind of glad to see you right now. Mystic Maiden, a thousand thank yous. I come to rescue you from distress. I come to pluck you from the brink of disaster. <laughs> well, actually, there's nothing that disastrous going on at the moment. Oh, yes, there is, Rocket. I'm afraid your little scam is going to land you in hot water. Oh, no, it's the creature from the bowels of the Doomsday Barge. Bite your tongue and be off with you, creature. Depart at once. Arnold, would you be happy to hear that all you've got to look forward to in your future is failure? Major failure. Because that's what I see. Oh my gosh, not this again. I think you guys must be in love or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I happen to have business with the Fair Maiden Rocket. Birthday business. So go back to your wormhole, Mavis. Birthday? Ha! Your gift awaits you, Rocket, in my locker. When shall I deliver it? Wow, Arnie, a present for me? What is it? 
I've got something kind of important to do right now, so maybe later today, even though I can't... Listen, Rocket, I'd skip that little affair if I was you. Consider me a friend, warning you of your soon-to-be doom. Hogwash from the mouth of a turnip. Rocket, allow me to remove this thing from your presence. I'll see you later. And to Pew, tally-ho, you peasant. Take your sweaty hands off me, Arnold! <laughs> Rocket! Rocket is making a big mistake! I need to have words with her! Bye-bye, Mavis. Thanks for the advice. Word of advice to all smart people, whatever you do, don't pay attention to a person called Arnold Zeitbaum. If you do, it'd be like thinking a brick in a wall was going to tell you something you needed to know. I feel what's going on. Mavis and her dumb predictions are not gonna rule my life. <laughs> Mavis thinks she can scare me, but I feel totally great about today. Oh no, she knows. And now she'll make everything a million times worse. I am. Hi, Miko. Hi, Nikili. Dana. Rocket, it's about time. We were wondering if you were going to show Rocket. Yeah, and we're oh so glad you finally did. <laughs> Dana, I have been waiting all semester to be able to celebrate your birthday. Yeah, sure you have, Rocket. Good thing it's not mine, but yours. Uh-uh. You two do not go there. This is supposed to be a fun time for all, you hear? As of today, things are changing among us all. Not to mention, it's really special because now we're celebrating Rocket's birthday along with ours. 
See, Rocket, the thing is, we're all Sagittarius, like you. Uh, well, about that, I just need to don't say... Don't you worry, Rocket. We don't have a cake yet, or presents, or anything. But this is still a really important moment. We're talking a secret special event. Right, Miko? Yeah. See, Rocket, when we found out you were also Sagittarius, well, we were so excited because we kind of have this tradition as CSGs and everything. Yeah, a big sacred tradition. And now, lucky you, Rocket, you're going to be part of it. Oh, wow, that sounds great. But how did you find out about me being a Sagittarius and my birthday supposedly being today, I mean? We have our ways, Rocket. You should know that by now, especially if you're going to be one of us. Are you saying... Wait, the girl has got to swear secrecy first. Rocket, do you swear forevermore that you will not now or ever reveal to anyone outside this room anything private that goes on with us? I mean, from here on out, including this very special secret meeting? Uh, totally! I swear not to tell anyone anything. This is so cool. Okay, then here's the business. Most secret business, I might add. This is your private secret invitation to become a member of the CSGs and be part of our, you know, secret Sagittarian society. What do you say? This is your official invitation, Rocket. Isn't this great? We all voted you in. <laughs> Even Dana. Sagittarius girls unite. Yeah. Yeah, Rocket, it was unanimous. So you better accept while you've got your chance. Who knows who'll change their mind any minute now. So, yes or no. No way! But how do I say no without hurting their feelings? Uh-oh. Can't say no, but definitely can't say yes. Not yet, anyway. Sounds good to me! Wow! Are you kidding? This is great! Of course I want to join! CSGs forever! But wait, not so fast, Rocket. It's not like one second you're out and then the next minute you're in, just like that. Uh, well, what do you mean? What do I have to do? Well, see, Rocket, this is a really big deal for us. It's only been us before now. Yeah, so we do take it serious. This isn't just some snap thing, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be really sure. Right, Rocket. So we said if you accepted, we'd wait till the end of the day for you to take the CSG loyalty oath, just to make sure you really meant it. Like, we just want you to really think about it, Rocket, and make sure it's what you totally want. Then we'll meet at the end of the day to celebrate, and of course to tell you what CSG stands for. Okay? Well, okay. But since I'm sure right now, why can't we just do it now and be done? Well, this is just sort of a good safety measure. Like, we just did step one. Later we'll do step two to make it more official. Yeah, so we'll meet up with you in the library later on. You'll say go, take the oath, and we'll sign up. Simple. Come on, you guys. Let's get See you later. Come See bye. you later. So, if it isn't Rock and Roll Vod 1 Ditch Mode, ha ha. Too bad I'm the hall monitor and you're not. One way ticket to the principal's office coming right up.
Okay, I happen to know a certain girl who shall remain nameless is crushing bad on a person whose locker is next to mine. But my prediction, that thing's not going anywhere. There's only one way out of this. Use my fantastic charm. The principal's office, huh? That's the least of my problems. Not fair. Poe is gonna get some back, and I mean now. No way! No one would let you be a hall monitor, Bo. Check it out. Obviously, Ms. Herrera would. Which, as I said, is where you're going, girlfriend principal's office to try to weasel a tardy excuse. Good luck. This is not funny, Bozanski. I was just on my way to my next class. So if you just move, I'll be going. So sorry, Rocket. It's not just a friendly little chat we're having here. No kidding. It's me talking to a mule. Okay, that's it. It's a rare time for you, Rocket. If you don't go say a big hi to Ms. H, she's gonna hear all about this episode from yours truly. Soon. I'm serious. Thanks a lot, Bo. So fine, send me to the principal. I could really care. Oh no, not the office, please. Oh please, just let everything be okay. Uh, the principal's office? This is so totally stupid. Hey, hey, new girl. You're having a really big day, I can see that. Robin, just stop. Welcome to the Desert of the Derelicts. Now playing at your local principal's office. This week starring Rocket Movado. Da da. Oh, please. Hey, Movado, chill out, okay? Not only am I sitting here like a geek on toast, but I got slammed by Nicole this morning too. 
right when I made my big suave move in her direction. I mean, Major Rico Suave. I need some big time cheering up. Listen, Robin, do not expect sympathy from me if you're just gonna slobber all over her. I told you that before. Young lady, what is it? Tardy? Bo Pazansky thought so. I wasn't even hardly late, Mrs. Herrera. Mm hmm. You're rather prickly, Rocket dear. Is anything troubling you? <laughs> yeah. She tries to slide in with the big secret society and blows. Hey, look in my locker to discover a way to hear what people are secretly thinking. <laughs> okay, here we go. Truth glasses. Come on, let's go listen in. Why does he have to be so cute? Especially if he can't stop thinking about noxious Nicole. Such uproar in here today. Is it the full moon, I wonder? Or the fact that report cards were handed out this noon? Then she gets busted for being late. Yeehaw! Ruben, just be quiet! That's enough, Mr. Rosales. I'll be dealing with you in a minute. Oh, come on, Mrs. H. Give me a break, huh? Rocket, why don't you come into my office and tell me what's on your mind? The schoolwork always suffers when a student can't talk about what's troubling her, you know. If I tell her about my little problem, maybe she could actually help me. I should tell her, but that'll probably just get me in more trouble. <laughs> Definitely not. Well, it's kind of complicated, but basically I got asked to join a certain group, but my birthday's the wrong date. And then there's this thing with a private book which I found in the girls' bathroom my first day of school, and I just give it back and now Hold I'm on, hold on, dear. It does sound a tad complicated. I think I need to hear it a bit more slowly. Now, you wanted to join a group? Yes. Actually, I got a really private invitation, but your birthday has to be around a certain time, which mine is not. I mean, not exactly. And anyway, I'm not sure I even want to join, even if I could. <laughs> Dear, so I am a little slow here. Let me see if I have this straight. You're thinking about joining some group, but because your birthday may be at the wrong time, you're not actually eligible? Well, what group is it exactly, child? Well, it's kind of a group called the CSGs with Nikhili and Dana and them, and it's been going on for a while. CSGs? What does that mean? It's the CSGs. I can't tell you what it stands for. I don't really know myself. Well, that's quite a story, dear. But joining the clique is not always a wise choice, you know. I try to discourage such things because I've seen the damage they can do. So you think about it. But in any case, remember that honesty is the best policy. It's an old saying, but it never tires out. I have no doubt you'll do the right thing. Well, let's hope so. Anyway, thanks for listening, Mrs. Herrera, and also for giving me the late pass. You're welcome, dear. But now you get to that computer lab and don't dawdle. All right, Mrs. Herrera. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> It definitely has its ups and downs. The worst part was having to leave my best friend, Meg. It's weird. 
We're so close that sometimes I think she's right here talking to me. Rocket, all I have to say is, if you're planning some sneaky little trick or something on the CSGs, well, you better not let it happen. Oh, this is Dana, by the way, in case you didn't know. Way back in September, my friend Ginger lost a lucky charm that she borrowed from this guy Wolf. She felt terrible about it, but then she found it under her bed the very next day. But the thing I lost is still missing, and I still feel terrible. I'll have some fun in computer lab and forget about everything else for a while. Why does everybody get so excited about computer lab? I still don't think I figured it out. Well, maybe things will improve in computer lab. Fellow Cybernauts, for today, as it is the last day of school before we all disappear to our mysteriously festive vacation activities, we will have only fun. Forget technical matters, we are about to embark on a deliciously sly internet treasure hunt. Join forces and follow the instructions at your terminals. Embarquons! Hey, Darnetta, you're not in this class, are you? No, just kind of stepping in. Cool. Want to team up? Hey, Darnetta. Jesse, you guys are both here? Oh, hi, Rocket. Ms. Chen let Darnetta and I come in because we had a free period and wanted to try the treasure hunt. Great, we can all team up then. Sorry, but I don't think we can, Rocket. Ms. Chen said pairs only. Yeah, sorry about that. Oh. But I'm sure you could find someone else, Rocket. Come on, Darnetta, I saved us a place. Listen, Rocket, we'll talk later, I promise. Dana! Oh, great, the perfect partner. Oh, come on, Dana, it'll be fun. I mean, we are kind of in a new phase now and everything. Rocket, listen, okay, we'll do this treasure hunt, but that other thing still isn't totally for sure yet. So we can't talk about it till we all get back together. That's the condition. Sure, I didn't actually want to talk about it either. Dana St. Clair. Put your name in. Enter your birth month and day. December 9th. Okay, let's see. Do you want to put your birthday in or shall I, birthday girl? Uh, why do we have to put our birthdays? This is so stupid. I mean, what's it got to do with anything? You have to put it in to have it verified by the school. Away we go to get the truth glasses!
My gram is the sweetest little grandma in the complete world. It's strange to say, but sometimes I feel she's the only one who truly understands me. But that's a tidbit of information I do keep to myself, of course.
Yes! I heard Miss Chen is going out with Mr. Baldus, but I cannot believe she'd ever go out with him. Blah, 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 yak, 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 yak. By the school records. Ugh. Ha! I know why this is a big problem for you, Rocket. It's not your birthday, is it? You're probably not even a Sagittarius. Dana has a lot of nerves snooping on me like this. Hey, I can handle a Dana temper tantrum, no problem. Oh no, how can I face Dana now? Hey Dana, come on, I know it seems really weird and like I've been this totally awful person, but I'm not, I swear. It's just a big, stupid mix-up. Oh, of course. And you can explain everything, right, Rocket? Yes, I can. If you'll just listen, I really want things to be okay between us. Good luck. Okay, listen. I've really been thinking about this secret invitation thing, and I know I'd make a really great member, but... I... No way. They almost had me convinced, but Rocket, I'm voting you out. And I'm making sure Miko and Nikili do the same. Dana, why are you always on my case? I don't see you treating other people like this. Maybe it's because you're trying to steal my two best friends, and you always act like you think you're so cool. Fine. In that case, you might be interested to know I do have something that might belong to you. Rocket, that is so not right. You'd better give it back. I mean it. Fine. I'll definitely give it back. And not say a word to anyone about ever having it or about what's in there. I'm sure you would not want people knowing about your private report book. Then give it. Okay. I'll give you your book and no one will ever know who had it or how you got it back. If you don't vote me out of the CSGs and you make Nico and Kili vote me in too. Rocket, you have so much nerve. Well, what's your answer? I'll think about it. You be in the library in half an hour and we'll just see what happens, won't we? <laughs> well, whatever you want. Just be there with the book. Dana told Ginger, and then Ginger told Arrow, and then Arrow told me, and then, of course, I asked Rocket. What can I say? When I hear the words secret invitation, I get curious. Wouldn't you? Dana told Ginger and... If I join up with you-know-who, well, it could be a really good thing. I'd have instant best friends and people who always stand up for you and like that. But, of course, then you're kind of identified just with them. So it's harder to get close to other people whom you might want to know, too. So what's the right thing to do?
My parents are divorced, as you might have heard. So, in a way, that makes the vacation really sad. Because my mom's in Austria with Nana, and I always really miss her around this time. But Dad says maybe on spring break I could visit her over there. All by myself. <laughs> cool. My months of cultivating a special piece of vegetation paid off. Yes, mortals, take heed. The intoxicating legend of the purple orchid lives on. This is terrible, but if I don't fess up, things will get even worse. Okay, time to get on with the ceremonies. Only one thing to do, act like there's no big problem and hope they'll lighten up. Uh, here I am, you guys. The failed Sagittarius coming to cash in on my secret invitation. <laughs> not funny, Rocket. That's right, Rocket. This is not the right time to be joking on us. Uh, yeah, I guess you probably feel like, in my case, CSG stands for, like, a curious spy girl or something, huh? I mean, it really You really got some nerve, Rocket Movado. I tell you that. Uh, but wait, I can explain. Hooray! It's truth glasses time. Listen to this. That's the inside of my head receiving important stuff to know.
Okay, about that thing I found in the girls' bathroom my first day of school. Well, I was gonna put it back, I swear. But then someone came in, so I stuffed it in my backpack and just forgot all about it till I got home. Now I've had it for three months, and I just gotta give it back. But how can I without them freaking out? Now you'll be able to hear people's thoughts. Curious spy girl. <laughs> Cute rocket. More like CSC, as in crummy, stupid cheat. I really do have kind of a birthday today. I don't think we need to hear any more of your lies or stupid excuses or whatever, Rocket. I'm so disappointed. Rocket, you keep acting like this is a big joke or something. Well, we're sorry to tell you, but it's really serious. Listen, I know it's serious, I do, but just give me a chance, okay? We did, Rocket. Look how it turned out. Dana's totally right. Considering everything, no way can we accept you as a member of the CSG's Rocket. Case closed. Fine! I didn't really want to join their stupid clique anyway. What a miserable mess. I'll never be able to even look at them anymore. Boy, I blew it. But maybe we can stay friends anyway. Okay then, I have a little confession to make. I've been thinking it wouldn't be the right thing for me to do anyway, even if you did accept me. What? Why not? Well, I just kind of feel like maybe it's better for me to be a free agent, you know? No offense or anything, but I kind of like being friends with everybody instead of just one exclusive group. You can still be friends with other people, Rocket. It's not like we're stopping you. I know, but still, when you're part of a private group, people always feel left out. Even I did when you said I couldn't be a CSG. It just seems sort of unfair. Well, we do try not to be too super exclusive, but since we've all been friends for eons and our birthdays are in the same sign and everything, the CSG thing just kind of evolved, you know? But we still have other friends. Oh, I know, and I'm not saying you shouldn't have the CSGs. Just that I've kind of probably figured out that the private group thing probably isn't for me. So, I'm sorry I messed everything up. Rocket, you totally didn't. It's really good that we had this talk. Yeah. But there's one other thing. Now promise you won't be mad. Um, okay. I bet I know what. Your book. I found it on the very first day of school and never gave it back. I was scared you'd get so mad that you'd quit talking to me. So I kept it. I'm really sorry. I can't believe you, Rocket. I know it's really private, so it's not like I read the whole thing or anything. Oh, uh-huh. I didn't. But so, can we all just stay friends? Just kind of start over, I mean? We'll stay friends with you, Rocket. Just, I hope something like this never happens again. It won't. I really mean it. Yeah, we'll see. Anyway, we got to get on the bus here. Hope you have a nice holiday, Rocket. Yeah, you too. Maybe I'll see ya? Maybe. Take care, Rocket. You rock, best friend. Meg! No, actually, I really blew it. No way! You apologized, and you were honest about your feelings. A lot of people wouldn't do that, you know, even if they secretly knew they did something wrong. That was way cool. Yeah, well, maybe things will still work out okay. Definitely. And no matter what they say, in my opinion, you're still a totally cool Sagittarius girl. <laughs> 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 Gotta go, Rock. Check you later. For sure. See you, Maggie Muffin. What a mess. I'll go write Meg all about this until it's time to get my ride home. <laughs> well, but that was not so great. I gotta just get out of here and go home. Well, I guess things could be worse. Maybe I'll go see if Jesse's hanging around in the music room. Yeah! yeah. All right.
Okay, Ginger, take a solo. Okay, okay, ready? Go! Yeah! Yeah! Hey, Chica, bet my car. It's Rocky. Hey, what's up, Rocky? Hi, you guys. What are you doing? Slamming, jamming, you know, raising a general ruckus. Yeah, we're just hanging out here like idiots instead of getting on with vacation. Is that stupid or what? Looks fun, actually. It is. We're kind of like having the New World Weird Musicians Jam or something. Yeah, and we're recording the whole thing. Really? Yeah, yeah, but just for fun. Nothing serious or like that. Come on, grab an instrument, Rocket. Oh, whoa, I don't think so. I'm not exactly that musical. Holy, it's so much fun. And you don't have to be musically gifted, Rocket. I feel so stupid. You're all going to laugh at me. Ah, uh, don't be a bonehead, girl. Be yourself. Get into it. And nobody Nobody cares if you hit a bad note. Come on. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. All right. All right. All right. Well. One, two, three, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, guys. Yeah. Oh, wow, Rocket, that's great. She's really got a good sense of rhythm. Yeah. Definitely. I think she should take my place in this band thing we're supposed to be doing. <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, check it out. Mavis, what's up? Hey, hey Mavis. Hey, Mavis. Hey, Mavis. Come on. Come on. Oh, weird. I saw Rocket after school out there in the birdcage, chatting up Bo and wild girl Sharla? Wonder what that's about. Rocket, it's Jessie, and I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to you before school got out. How was your report card? Anyway, I gotta hurry up and get home and pack. I'm so excited. Hope you have a really good Christmas, too, though. I'll talk to you when we get back. Bye! Rocket, all I have to say is, if you're planning some sneaky little trick or something on the CSGs, well, you better not let it happen. Thank you. 
Oh great, it's Mavis. If she starts anything, she's gonna be really sorry. Her again? This is not a good sign. Okay, the perfect person to join our two weird music group. Hey Mavis, come on, make some music with us. It's really fun. Yeah, come on, Mavis. I think so. I'm not the musically inclined type. Oh, Mavis, mi amiga, it's no time to be shy. We need all the help we can get. Babe, yeah, come, come on. on. Let's go, let's go. Hey, set her up, Wolfman. How about the conga? Are you got it. Yeah. I once flunked a piano lesson because my fingers couldn't get on all the keys. Oh, my <laughs> Mavis, listen, I'm even worse than that. Look at me. I was just totally faking it. I'm sure you can, too. Rocket, I know this isn't the time to say this, but I can tell. Neither one of us has a big musical sign in our future. <laughs> hey, wait a second. This, no one cares how good you are, Mavis. And look, you don't have to have long fingers to do the drums. Just go like this. Yeah. And there it hey, is. Hey, that's kind of cool. Hey, yeah. yeah. Mavis. Mavis, I'm really glad you came in here. You know that? Yay! Another chance to go get the truth glasses. Come on. Are you ready to bet me on who the crushes in this school are? Hint for not-so-perceptive people. 
a really popular person might like someone you'd never think would happen in about a hundred wolf years. I feel what's going on. If I took a vote about whether or not to invite Rocket to another party gig, based on everything, how would you vote?
Have you ever heard about the ghost of Whistling Pines? It's like he's supposed to be right here in school. I'm not afraid of ghosts, but of course, I've never seen one yet. Excellent. You won't believe what these people are thinking about. Let's go. Robin is so talented. I wish you'd just like call me over vacation or something. I mean, just to talk. Rocket and Reuben, it's so obvious. Like a destiny thing. Be Rocket, you never told me a totally good thing like that before. I'm sorry, but you know what about today? You were right. I got in trouble for a thing I did and then totally got left out of something because of it. It doesn't feel so great being left out, you know? I know a whole book about that, and about what happened to you today. But things are gonna get better for you, Rocket. Much better, believe me. You think? Rocket, trust me. You've got the elf room, don't you? Special things could happen to you. And don't forget about Reuben. <laughs> Mavis, shh. Anyway, I guess we'll see how your predictions turn out. Sometimes I think you're too right. Hey, you girls over there, quit the conversing and get down. Come okay. on, this is serious business. And that Mavis, she's got some serious rhythm. <laughs> Shake it, Mavis. Yeah, yeah, Go with it. Go ahead. Shake it. This is really a fun thing I wouldn't have sense to do. <laughs> In my sixth sense, Whoa. I know uh -oh. you're all going to have a good vacation. <laughs> okay. And especially New Year. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's jam! Yeah, let's jam. Yeah. All right! This day isn't such a total disaster after all, and I hope my new year is even better. Girl 